Yeah, man. It all started carjacking back in May and ended when police tracked down the trio to a Whitehaven apartment yesterday evening. WREG's Ashley Paul joins us now live from 201 Poplar tonight, where the suspects, Ashley, are being held. Steph, at least three carjackings, an attempted carjacking, a crash and a robbery. And tonight, a 22 year old and, as you mentioned, two 15 year olds are accused of committing the crimes. Now, we spoke with some of the victims who say that they're glad these three are finally caught, but sad to hear that two of them are just children. Great. I'm happy. I'm glad that they were arrested. I'm glad they did catch him. This victim, a part of a car crash that happened yesterday afternoon at Lamar and Airways, is breathing a sigh of relief tonight. He doesn't want to be identified, but he's happy to be alive, especially after learning the cars that hit him were stolen just moments before. The men inside firing shots in the process. I think it was just to get the attention of the crowd to let nobody know don't come up on us. I think that's why they were shooting. According to Memphis police, 22-year-old Jeterius White was arrested on two felony warrants and... Jeterius White. <laughs> Jeterius. Domestic assault. Two 15-year-olds were also taken into custody for a number of charges, including carjacking, aggravated robbery, attempted murder, and theft. The victim is sad, he says, but not shocked to hear the ages of the suspects. A lot of them are failing in school, no education, so he can't get a job. They don't have no way of getting this money but out robbing the ceiling. According to... Um, sir, they didn't take your car to the chop shop, man. You know, like, what are you talking about, sir? These dudes are robbing and stealing. These dudes are doing this for fun. This is fun. This is part of their code. This is the code they live by. This is a lifestyle. This is a lifestyle. Stealing your shit is a lifestyle. It ain't about poverty or nothing like that. These dudes are thugs. Attempted murder and theft. The victim is sad, he says, but not shocked to hear the ages of the suspects. A lot of them are failing in school, no education, so he can't get a job. They don't have no way of getting this money but out robbing the ceiling. According to police, this was one incident in a string of carjackings, the first happening outside of Rose's Discount in South Memphis last month. The rest all happened yesterday, beginning just before noon, spanning from South Memphis to Whitehaven. No one was hurt, but several are rattled and changing their daily routines to stay safe. Been visually, constantly looking out certain places I don't go. I drive cautiously, courteously, and let everybody else go first. If he's in a hurry, I'll stop and let him go. Now, information on the 15-year-olds is limited because they are just minors, but White is being held here at 201 on $7,500 bail and is expected to appear in court tomorrow. Reporting live for your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News. <sighs> Channel 3. Welcome back. New FBI numbers suggest the level of violent crime is receding, but in so many corners of our country and right here in D.C., if you talk to people who live through it all, it doesn't matter what the numbers say. My guest tonight's embarking on a very personal crusade to stem the crime across the country. Let's bring in Fox News contributor and friend of ours here at Fox 5, Gianna Caldwell, backing up late with me tonight here on The Final Five. It is good to see you again. Uh, welcome in. Great to be with you, brother. And, and right off the top, I know it's been years since we've seen each other, but... I really appreciate the work that you've been doing on this show and beyond. Thank you. Well, I appreciate that very much. And what you're about to do, what you're embarking upon uh, as of this week, you launched the Caldwell Institute for Public Safety. The reason you did it on Monday, though, was for a very personal reason. That's right. On June 24, 2022, my teenage baby brother, Christian, innocent teenage baby brother, Christian, was murdered on the south side of Chicago. And since then, I've been out for justice for him and many others across the country. And as you know, I work for Fox News Channel and the network has been so generous to allow me to go and when someone, a family of however many people are, are murdered, a daughter, a son, a niece, a nephew, they allow me to go out, interview that person, help raise money for that person to helpfully ensure that justice is served and they can get justice for their family. Well, I've decided since it's a two year anniversary, which was this past Monday, June 24th, that I needed to take this up another step. 
because violent crime in our country has been out of control. I know the numbers you just stated, or rather the, the data you stated by the FBI saying that crime is down. Well, what we've come to learn is a lot of jurisdictions have decided to withhold their data. Mm -hmm. So the idea that crime is down in many jurisdictions may not be all that true. If you look at D.C. as an example, just last year, a 35 percent increase in homicides. Uh, what? The robberies up 67 percent, car thefts up 82 yeah. percent, thefts up 23 percent, overall crime overall crime up 39 percent. This is something that shouldn't be accepted in any jurisdiction. And with the Caldwell Institute for Public Safety, especially going to jurisdictions like uh, Chicago, as an example, New York, uh, Philadelphia, many other places that may not necessarily be these major cities, we're going out and taking on the progressive prosecutors who are choosing to decline to prosecute many criminal elements. We're talking about people who have been elected into these positions who are who have chosen. Mm. Mm.